At the start of the movie, we see the protagonist, Shima Sumitomo, who is on a trip with her father one wintry day. Her parents have been divorced for quite some time now. Initially, Shima lived with her mom in Tokyo and attended an all-girls school, but she felt ostracized there, so she finally decided to change schools and live with her father in Hokkaido. The next day, Shima starts her first day at the new school. Like any new student, she introduces herself to the classmates, and in return, they greet her warmly. However, one student named Jen appears to be a bit cold. This is because he's the most popular guy in the class, who is loved and adored by all the girls. Jen doesn't even allow Shima to stay at the desk next to him, since it's reserved for his friend Wow. But in response, she angrily yells at him, making him a laughingstock in front of the whole class. It turns out the other students have never seen anyone challenging Jen, let alone a female student. As the class begins, a lot of girls approach Shima and befriend her, one of them being Haruka. This makes her feel welcomed. However, things were contrastingly different at Shima's previous school, as she was disliked and had no friends at all. The movie then flashes back to Tokyo, where Shima is being excluded by her classmates. She is constantly teased and preyed upon by girls her age. At home, things are even worse. Shima is affected by the changing partners of her mother. So, to cope with the situation, she regularly locks herself up in her room and doesn't go out. This finally catches her mother's attention, so she worryingly calls her husband. And after going through the process, Shima is finally with her father to start over fresh. In the present, when Shima comes home from school, she sees a boy named Wow in front of her house with her father. Apparently, he is her neighbor and Jen's close friend. Wow appears to be warm and friendly, and seeing him, Shima is instantly smitten. The next day, she learns more about Jen and Wow. It appears they are the most popular guys in the school and are treated like idols by the students. However, she is warned by Haruka not to get too close to them because their fans might end up hating her. This concerns Shima a bit, but because of her infatuation towards Wow, she cannot stop herself. So, she introduces herself to Wow, who politely returns the gesture. Unfortunately, one day in the school's washroom, Shima is approached by several female students who warn her to stay away from their idols, Jen and Wow. Sometime later, Haruka invites Shima to go out with her on Christmas Eve. The latter thinks it's a great idea, so she immediately accepts. However, at night, when she arrives near the park where they are supposed to meet, Haruka doesn't show up. Shima waits for hours and hours in the blistering cold, before finally heading home disappointed. It turns out Haruka just wanted to pull a prank on Shima because, in reality, she hates her. After all, Shima seems to be close to the male idols of the school. Meanwhile, while returning home, Shima wonders if what Haruka said was true, that all the female students will stay away from her and she will have no friends like at her previous school. As she begins to panic, Wow, who happens to be nearby, notices her. He immediately approaches Shima, gives her his scarf, and tries to console her. The following morning, she goes to Wow's house to return the scarf, only to learn that he has fallen sick. Just then, Jen arrives at the scene, bringing over some warm soup for his friend. After leaving Wow's home, Jen and Shima go to a nearby hill. Upon reaching there, she is amazed to see the scenic beauty of the city. Even though Jen's attitude seems aloof, the two get along nicely. Shima even shows her ballet to him, and an impressed Jen starts recording her on his phone. When Shima goes to school the following day, Haruka is furious at her. It turns out she saw the video recorded by Jen. But this time, Jen comes to the rescue and defends our heroine. He berates Haruka for being arrogant before sending her away. Shima is grateful that people have finally started liking her, but she is also upset for Haruka, who is going through the same problems she once had, so she goes after her. The two chat for a while, and Haruka admits that she is madly in love with Jen. This is the reason she became jealous and lashed out at Shima. But Haruka also realizes that she was unreasonably mean towards her friend, and with this, the two patch things up between them. One night, Shima's father invites Wow and his mother for dinner. The closeness between the two parents is clearly visible, since they have known each other for a very long time now. While dining, Shima's father unexpectedly proposes marriage to Wow's mother, which she gladly accepts. Meanwhile, the children, Wow and Shima, are stunned by the sudden life-changing decision. However, they are also happy, knowing that their parents will finally get the love that they were longing for. Sometime later, the two officially get married. Shima and Wow now live together as siblings. As their friendship grows deeper, Jen starts thinking that his best friend is ignoring him. Because of this, he reverts to his usual cold self and becomes an arrogant jerk. However, one day, Shima approaches him and mentions that he should have a girlfriend and stop blaming Wow. On another day at school, Shima and the other students attend a musical program organized by a fellow student named Yumi. As she performs on stage, Wow looks at her soulfully. 
It's revealed that he is deeply in love with her. Meanwhile, Haruka confesses her love to Jen. Surprisingly, he accepts to date her without giving much thought to it. Days later, Haruka invites Shima to go camping on the summer vacation. But for that, she wants to introduce him to a man named Kamazawa so that Shima will have a partner like the others during the vacation. The next day, Shima meets Kamazawa at a park and starts chatting. Even though the two are meeting for the first time, they get along pretty well. Surprisingly, Jen and Wow are eavesdropping on them from a distance. In the next scene, the long-awaited summer vacation is finally here. The students arrive at a forest point near a lake and set up camp there. They cook food and enjoy themselves before going out with their partners to explore the surrounding. As Shima is walking with Kamazawa, she suddenly sees Haruka and Jen together by the lake. To make matters more shocking, the two of them start kissing. Seeing this, Shima is devastated as she too has a crush on Jen. She then runs into the forest to spend some time alone, but along the way she hurts her leg, making it difficult for her to stand. Meanwhile, Kamazama returns to the camp alone and informs everyone that his partner suddenly ran into the forest. Hearing this, Jen becomes furious at Kamazawa for leaving Shima alone. He and Wao then go in opposite directions and rush to the forest looking for her. Thankfully, Jen finds Shima and carries her to the campsite as she cannot walk for herself. This makes the latter so happy that she forgets all about her pain. That evening, Wao, Shima, and Jen play with fireworks at the camp. Wao even records the moment, but he is interrupted when other friends join in. After that, he also sets off some fireworks with Haruka while Wao approaches Yumi. Now, Shima is left alone with Kamazawa, who apologizes for leaving her alone in the woods. She doesn't mind and convinces him that it wasn't his fault. Kamazawa then asks her to go out with him once they are back in the city. Shima obviously isn't into him, but for the sake of their friendship, she accepts. Next, as the holiday is over, Shima meets Kamazawa at a coffee shop. However, she immediately cuts to the chase and explains that she doesn't like him that way. Hearing this, Kamazawa is heartbroken, but he has to accept Shima's decision. He also suggests that she immediately express her feelings for Jen. Over the course of the next few days, Wow also realizes that Shima is in love with Jen, but the latter is oblivious to it. One afternoon, while playing basketball at the school's court, Jen reflects on his feelings for Haruka. As he initiates the conversation with an apology, Haruka realizes that he is breaking up with her and that he hasn't really liked her wholeheartedly this whole time. So she storms away from there, heartbroken. Later that evening, Shima unexpectedly runs into Jen on the street. Without thinking twice, she hugs him from behind, although she doesn't confess her feelings. However, Jen seems annoyed with her as he mistakenly thinks Shima is using him to get over Kamazawa. Hearing this, the latter becomes offended and immediately leaves Jen. That night, she cries alone in her room, and Wow also hears it. The next day, Shima is suddenly visited by her mother, who plans to take her back to Tokyo. The woman says that she is feeling lonely as she has divorced her lover. Feeling bad for her mom, Shima is left in a dilemma. That night, she asks her father if she can return to her mother in Tokyo and support her in these hard times. The man initially objects, but after a while he gives in, knowing that he has no right to hold his daughter back. The following day, Shima gathers enough courage to express her feelings to Jen and bid him a farewell. However, just as she is about to speak, Jen's fans hoard the premise, making it impossible for Shima to say anything. After school, Wao approaches Jen and finally tells him that Shima is being transferred to Tokyo. He also reveals that she was in love with him this entire time. Now, Wao wants his best friend to go after her as she is a very special girl. Hearing all this, Jen also realizes that he has feelings for Shima, so he rushes to her room. Unfortunately, she is long gone. Meanwhile, Shima is with Haruka and other friends in a cafe. She reveals her plans to study in Tokyo and to be with her mother. However, Haruka urges Shima to express her feelings for Jen and confess to him. Shortly after, Shima goes to the same hills where she and Jen had visited earlier. Luckily, he also arrives at the scene. The two then express their feelings for each other, finally setting aside their misunderstanding. Jen also promises that he will finish school by next year so that they can be together at the University of Tokyo. The movie ends as the two embrace each other and kiss in the middle of a snowy night.